so two questions we are going to deal with in this video and these two questions uh, these are one mark questions asked uh, asked in board exams first question is how will you prove that the colloidal particles carry charge and the second question is name the process used to find the nature of charge on the colloidal particle means nature of charge could be negative or positive colloidal particles carry positive or negative charge so how will you prove that so answer to these two question is we are going to explain the phenomena of electrophoresis this phenomena is used to find the charge existence of charge on the colloidal particles and the nature of charge on the colloidal particles this phenomena can be used to find or explain these two things existence of charge on the colloidal part particles and nature of charge present on the colloidal particles can be explained by this phenomena of electrophoresis now we are going to study this phenomena of electrophoresis now what happens we take a u tube and there are two electrodes platinum electrodes fixed at the two ends one is anode connected to the positive of the battery and another is cathode connected to the negative of the battery and the tube is filled with positively charged in this experiment we have taken positively charged colloidal solution of ferric hydroxide now this tube is filled with positively charged colloidal solution now we apply this potential difference across these two electrodes and we see the movement of colloidal particles is taking place and since we have taken positively charged ferric hydroxide solution uh, sol so what happens that this ferric hydroxide colloidal particles move towards this electrode cathode neg negatively charged electrode and lose their charge and gets coagulated it is itself a proof since they are traveling toward this negatively charged electrode it proves that they are negatively charged secondly they are moving under the influence of electric field it also proves that they are charged they are carrying some charge so this experiment proves the ex existence of charge on the colloidal par particles as well as we can if the charged particles or colloidal particles are moving toward this electrode positively charged electrode means they are carrying negative charge but in this case we have taken positively charged also we are getting coagulation of colloidal particles at this electrode these are coagulated particles these are the particles coagulated around cathode platinum cathode now one more thing we know that this colloidal solution is carrying uh, there is no net charge on the colloidal solution means if the colloidal particles are positively charged there is equal and opposite charge present on the dispersion medium if the dispersed phase is positively charged an equal and opposite charge is present on the dispersion medium so under the influence of this electric field only colloidal particles will move and they will travel to this electrode and the no movement of remember this no movement of this dispersion medium towards anode is observed only colloidal particle will move and this movement of colloidal particle under the influence of electric field is known as electrophoresis electrophoresis is movement of colloidal particles towards any of the electrode it depends upon what kind of charge is present on these colloidal particles accordingly they will move to the electrode 
now another phenomena we are going will be discussing in the next video and that is if suppose we put some membrane across here to prevent the movement of this colloidal particle then what will happen if the movement of colloidal particles under the influence of applied potential is prevented by the use of semi permeable membrane etc then what we observe that dispersion medium moves movement of dispersion medium can be proved by another experiment similar experiment and that is known as electro osmosis movement of dispersion dispersion medium under the influence of applied electric field is known as electro osmosis and the movement of colloidal particles under the influence of this is known as electrophoresis so in the next video we will discuss the phenomena of electro osmosis